In this video, we're going to evaluate this integral. So because we have a dy here first, we first have to integrate with respect to y. So we treat all of the x's as constants. So let's do it. So we have, we keep the outer limit of integration, so two to five, and we're integrating with respect to y. So that'll give us two y squared over two using the power rule, because one plus one is two. So two y squared over two, the twos will cancel. So we're just left with y squared, and then this piece hangs out because it's a constant. When you integrate with respect to y, all of the other variables are constants, okay? And then we're going from, so use a double bracket, from one to the square root of x. So because we integrated with respect to y, I personally like to do this. So y equals one, and then y equals square root of x. Not everyone does this. You can just put the one in the square root of x. I like doing it so I don't mess up. And then we still have the dx. Lots of stuff there, right? Let's just go over that again. So we first integrated with respect to y, so we, tra we treated all of the x's as constants. So we got two y squared over two, the two's canceled, this is a constant, so it hangs out. Because we integrated with respect to y, and it was a definite integral, our limits are y values, okay? So because this is dy. So it's y equals one to y equals square root of x. Notice the double bracket for added clarity. This is equal to the definite integral from two to five, First, you always plug in the top limit, and it's really easy to mess up here. You're plugging it in for the y. And look at this, this is beautiful, because it goes away when you plug it in, the square root goes away, because it's being squared. So you get x, e to the negative x, okay? And then, um, <laughs> that's it for that. And then you subtract and plug in one. So minus, and you're plugging in one for the y. So y, one squared is one, so this is just gonna be e to the negative x and this is dx. Okay, so to integrate this, you can use tabular on this and then just integrate this, or you can factor out an e to the negative x and use tabular on the whole thing. Um, I don't know what's easier. Um, hmm, trying to make decisions here. So you could pull out the e to the negative x. Let's do that. Let's pull out the e to the negative x and, and use tabular. Let's just make, it, make a decision. So this is x minus one, e to the negative x, dx. And then we'll use tabular on this piece. You could have used tabular on this and then just integrated this, but it doesn't matter. So tabular says that whenever you have something like this where you can use integration by parts, and whenever one of the pieces is eventually zero after repeated differentiation, you can use tabular. This is an example of that. Another example would be something like x cubed e to the two x. If you keep differentiating x cubed, eventually it's zero. Same thing here. If you keep differentiating x minus one, eventually it's zero. So let's do it, let's do it up here. So x minus one, e to the negative x. All right, so in tabular, you just differentiate the piece that is that will be eventually zero. So the derivative of this is one, and the derivative here is zero. So you just take derivatives. The other piece you integrate. So when you integrate e to the negative x, you just keep dividing by the coefficient of x. So in this case, we're gonna keep dividing by negative one. So it's going to be negative e to the negative x, because we're dividing by negative one. Then you do it again, it'll become positive e to the negative x. So differentiate, integrate, differentiate, integrate. Then you start putting symbols and you always start with plus. So plus minus plus. Then you draw the arrows. Then you follow the arrows. Let's follow these arrows. So this times this. So the negative, I'm gonna pull it out. So it's negative x minus one, pulling out that negative. E to the negative x, follow the arrow negative e to the negative x, and we're going from two to five. Again, you can use tabular whenever you can integrate one factor and you can differentiate the other one, and after repeated differentiation, the other one is eventually zero. So in this case, we could do that because the derivative of this is one, because that goes away. The derivative here is zero, and this is easy to integrate. Likewise, you could do it here. You would get x cubed, three x squared, etc. Eventually, it would be zero. Plug in the five first. This will be, let's skip some steps here. Five minus one is four. So I'm gonna put a negative four here, e to the negative five, minus e to the negative five. So we put a five here, five minus one is four, five, and then five, okay? Minus parentheses, plugging a two in here. Two minus one is one. That's gonna give us negative, right, because we have a negative, e to the negative two minus e to the negative two. Being really careful here. So this is 
Let's check that. 5 minus 1 is 4, e to the negative 5, minus e to the negative 5, minus, and then plugging into 2 minus 1 is 1. We have a negative 1, put a 2 here, minus, put a 2 here, boom. Negative 4 of these minus 1 of these is negative 5 of these. Negative 1 of these and negative 1 of these is negative 2 of these. So, right, because you have, there's really a 1 here. So negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. There's really 1's here, right? Negative 1 and negative 1 is negative 2. Um, this is going to become positive at the end here. So this will be negative 5 e to the negative 5, I don't like 5's, plus 2 e to the negative 2. And that, my friends, would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.